Hi, everyone. Welcome to another Journalist Toolbox training. My name is Mike Riley, the founder and editor of the Journalist Toolbox. You can find all of our resources on journalisttoolbox.ai. Uh, you can go in and open up any of these pages uh, and find all kinds of links with short descriptions, training videos on how to use the tools, uh, many other resources up here. Um, it covers all kinds of different AI tools and other topics that are relevant to journalists, video creation, image creation, audio uh, uh, editing and creation, all kinds of different uh, uh, resources up here. Uh, it's site's free to use. Um, it has uh, more than 115 training videos, one of which you're watching right now. Uh, it linked right off the right-hand rail here, as well as a newsletter. Uh, the uh, YouTube channel uh, is right here. Uh, it's got all of the videos on it. Uh, many of them are AI tools, but we've got some other ones to edit video and audio on your phone, uh, data viz tools, things like that. Uh, the videos run five to 15 minutes long. They're pretty short. Um, our newsletter uh, it comes out every, every other Tuesday morning around uh, 8 a.m. Eastern time. Uh, you can open up uh, that uh, newsletter, read through it in typically about four or five minutes. It's a, it's a pretty quick uh, 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 read. Um, features some tools, or this in this case, it's centered on one tool, Sora, uh, and its arrival. Um, but the tool I want to talk to you about today is one that's a little different. It's called Navigator. It comes from an organization called Troll Busters. If you go to troll-busters.org, um, this website was launched by uh, Michelle Ferrier uh, several years ago. Uh, it uh, contains all kinds of tips and content and trainings on how to help journalists deal with trolls online if you're being harassed by uh, some trolls online. I've been through it, uh, many of us have. Um, uh, you can go in here and click on any of these different uh, resources. Uh, they give you a lot of you know really good tips. And one of them is right down here called Navigator. It's got this little uh, compass on it uh, and you can click on it there and it'll take you over to this interface. Um, once you're in here, you have your choice of going uh, with UK or USA. Um, she goes, uh, she has UK here because some of their laws are a little different down there, uh, over there, uh, on dealing with uh, uh, trolls and harassment online. So all of this is run off of Claude. Um, uh, you can upload uh, content, uh, you know, if you have some, uh, maybe some tweets or something that we're being harassed online by a hate group or something. Uh, you can attach them here and then, you know, ask, you know, how do I deal with this? Um, she's got some starter prompts listed here, and everything in here has been trained on that content that I just showed you on Trollbusters. Um, so all instead of having to go through all of her tip sheets and all of uh, you know the materials, um, you can just come in here and start asking some questions. Um, so I'm going to demo how it works um, because it's really interesting how it responds, how she's trained it uh, to respond to us. Um, now, keep in mind, typically the people that are coming in here are under a great deal of stress. If you've been harassed online and I've gone through it, uh, you know, it's really, really uh, a stressful uh, uh, time, uh, very difficult to go through. Um, so, you know, the answers here show a lot of empathy and compassion, and we'll see that uh, as it starts to respond to us. It'll have a conversation. It'll ask uh, several questions before I really get to uh, all the things uh, that I want it to, to give me. So um, I'm going to start with this prompt. I'm going to ask it, you know, tell it, uh, I'm a journalist who's being harassed online on social media. by an alt-right group, and I'm being kind there. How should I handle this situation? What tips, best practices do you have for me? Might be a little wordy, um, but I, I, I threw two questions at it. You know, how should I handle the situation? And then ask for you know specific tips and best practices. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and drop that in. It's going to mull it for a minute here, and it'll start to kick back. Typically, it shows some empathy in the answer, and then it'll ask me if I'm doing okay. So I'm sorry to hear you're expecting harassment from an alt right group. It must be very stressful. First and foremost, I want to make sure you're safe. Are you currently in a secure location? And do you feel that, that uh, immediate physical safety is at risk? 
Um, I want to assure that I'm here to support you. I need to ask a few questions. Let's start with the first question. Um, uh, can you tell me more about the nature of the harassment? Okay. Usually it breaks these up into three different parts, but uh, today it's dropping it all on me at once. Um, uh, I'm safe. Um, I'm being harassed on Twitter and LinkedIn with threatening messages and some threatening emails, writing this from experience. So gave it a little bit more detail. So instead of social media, and I added in emails too, because I'd forgotten that I'd uh, received some very strange emails as well. So um, I'm relieved to hear that you're physically safe. Thank you for sharing that. Um, how many do have you documented these emails? If so, what methods did you use to record them? I cut and pasted the tweets and in threats into a Word document. I'll say Word document. And it kind of gives you some advice here off the bat. Remember, you know, documenting evidence is crucial. Um, so it's kind of guiding me as it's asking me more questions. Hey, you know, you should be documenting uh, what, uh, you know, uh, what you're going through. Uh, dates, times, places, things like that. It'll get to that in a, in a tip sheet here in a minute. Um, and now it gets into the checklist of, of things. Expand the current method, include timestamps and URLs on each threat, take screenshots because sometimes the, uh, you know, uh, they can take down the posts, save emails as EML files to preserve metadata. Very good, very good tip. I wish I would have thought of that, you know, when I was going going through this, uh, you know, because I just forwarded the emails on and copied and pasted them into a document. But that's really cool to save them as EML files, saves, saves all the metadata in it. Um, create a secure backup for, you know, uh, using a cloud service. Uh, have you taken any steps to report? Okay, so that's really digging in. Not acted on and forced, but I'm serious considering and what other tips do you have for me to handle the situation? Sometimes repeating that initial uh, uh, query. Um, this one's kind of taking me down a very detailed, uh, uh, you know, step kind of step by step process. Um, my response is early on when this tool first came out uh, in uh, the fall of 2024, um, it would just give me a, a list like this right off the bat. Sorry to hear you're dealing with this. Here's a list of of things uh, to do. Um, so now it gets down to this chest checklist: adjust your privacy settings, seek support, have someone take over your social account. You know, talk to a lawyer if need be. Um, you know, network with other journals. Are there others going through this? Reach out to support groups um, in other organizations. Uh, do you have a trusted colleague or editor? Um, yes, I have told my boss about this. You know, so it's making sure you're checking in at work. Um, one of the things I did was had somebody else watch my social media for a couple of days. Um, so they were kind of removed from it, and I, you know, I didn't have to look at it. So if they saw the harassment, they just, you know, mentioned it to me. Hey, they're still doing it, um, and you know, they doc did the documenting for me and helped me out. A lot of newsrooms do that. Um, and here it goes. You know, here's you know the things to seek uh, in your workplace: security assistance, legal support. You know, maybe tightening things up at security at the front desk. Um, uh, temporary reassignment. Maybe you need to move off the beat for a little while. Uh, so it keeps offering me these tips as we go uh, and always make sure to, to uh, you know, uh, to respond and, and either like or dislike uh, the answers because it helps it with the training. Um, so this is Navigate, a real simple tool to use. But boy, if you, you're ever in a tough situation, uh, it's a really, really, really helpful tool. And it works with all kinds of different uh, situations and harassment, you know, uh, you know, physical threats, things like that. 
um, as well. So, uh, you know, take advantage of this tool. It's free. Um, you do have to uh, register for it now, but it's free registration. Um, and I think you get one or two you know, free ones before you have to register. And the, again, the registration is free. Um, so uh, take advantage of this really great tool. And troll-busters.org is the website. Uh, yeah, Michelle's got some really good graphics up here. I didn't mention these earlier. Uh, she puts out the magazine, but the threat infographic uh, is a really good one. Uh, digital hygiene lessons, too. Uh, she's got some really good tips in there. Um, she's even got a student journalist uh, uh, guide uh, in there as well. So, again, take advantage of those. Also, if you're trying to reach me, uh, I am now on uh, Blue Sky Social, a little friendlier than Twitter, uh, although I still do have my Twitter account. You can find both in the right rail uh, of the Journalist Toolbox uh, website. Follow on Twitter, follow on Blue Sky. So I uh, hope you found this helpful. Uh, again, go to journalisttoolbox.ai to find Navigator uh, and many other uh, useful tools.